Hello friends, most welcome in fluid mechanics learn through example series. I am going to discuss a car sinking problem. Let's say you are driving a car and unfortunately all of a sudden it sunk in a pond or lake. The question arises, will you be able to open the door or not? In order to solve this problem, let's put some numeric value to the problem. Let's say 5 meter below the car is sunk. The top of the car is just 5 meter below this water level and the dimension of the car door is 1.5 meter by 1 meter and this car door is rotate about this hinge point. Now first of all I have to see how much amount of hydrostatic pressure force is developed because of hydrostatic pressure. In last video series we have seen that for any fluid pressure is a function of H and we can write it as gamma times H or we can say rho g into h. First of all, I have to see how much amount of pressure is generating. You can see the car top is 5 meter below and half of this car door is 1.5 by 2 meter. So gamma is say 9.81 in kilo Newton per meter cube. H value is 5 plus 1.5 by 2. It is 5.75 and this value comes 56.4075 kN per meter square. Now, if I have to calculate the force generated at the centroid point, this value will come pressure into area that is 56.4075 multiplied by area of the door is 1.5 by 1 meter. And this value comes to be 84.61 kN. Same calculation you can do by plotting the pressure distribution diagram. You can see at this point pressure developed would be gamma into h that is 9.81 into 5 meter and this value comes to be 49.05 and at point 5 plus 1.5 meter that is 6.5 meter below this pressure distribution will give you the pressure value 63.765. How it come? 9.81 multiplied by 6.5. So you will get 63.765. Now you can see your door having this pressure distribution diagram. By solving this trapezoidal, you will get the resultant pressure force. You can use the trapezoidal rule to find out the area A plus B by 2 multiplied by H. Here H is nothing but 1.5 meter. By using this law, you can also calculate the force and it will come to be 84.61 kN. So I will just tell you the hydrostatic pressure force is calculated by this formula Pc multiplied by A and that is gamma times Hc times A. Same thing I have calculated here. You can see Pc I have calculated by gamma 9.81 into Hc that is centroid of this segment and area is nothing but 1.5 by 1 meter. So the final hydrostatic pressure force developed at the centroid point is 84.61 kN. Even at this point, I am unable to say whether I will be able to open the door or not. So what is my next step to calculate the movement generated about this hinge point? That how much movement is generated by this hydrostatic pressure force? How I can calculate the movement generated by say water at hinge point it would be equals to 84.61 from the centroid I have to know the value of lever arm so lever arm is just 1 meter by 2 that is 0.5 and this value comes to be 42.3 kN meter this is the amount of movement generated by hydrostatic pressure force at hinge point now in order to check whether I am able to open the door or not, I have to know the how much movement a healthy person can generate about a hinge point. So in order to find out, I have to check how much amount of horizontal thrust healthy person can develop. Healthy person can push a block having magnitude 100 kg because there are some frictional force also develops. Amount of movement he can generate for that I have to check the movement generated by a healthy human about hinge is 100 kg multiplied by you can see in this door the door segment having handle at this extreme point and the reason behind that that maximum movement we can generate by placing this door handle at the corner. So the lever arm which is available for healthy human is 1 meter. Again I have to convert this 100 kg into kilonewton. 
if 1 kg i am taking 10 newton then 100 kg would be equals to 1000 newton if i'll calculate in kilonewton meter terms the movement generated by a healthy person about hinge would come 1 kilonewton meter i can compare these two values that the movement generated by a healthy person is just 42.3 times lesser than the movement generated by a water so it is impossible to open the door if car is sunk below 5 meter using the same law and by the same problem you can also calculate at which depth you can easily open the door now i am pretty sure you must be able to correlate your fluid mechanics theory with the ongoing real life problems friends let's move to a new section of hydrostatic what we are seeing on the screen just a simple picture where a person is drinking say water using straw now if i will ask you what is maximum distance or if i ask what would be the maximum height he can suck the water using this straw say this value is h so you have to tell the maximum value of h or h maximum is it a relevant question of hydrostatic before looking for the answer i would like to tell a small story there are number of literature available related to that story and you can also have glance of that it's a story related to great scientist galileo who was an italian physicist astronomer and mathematician in his period of research he could not explain the exact reason that why the water cannot be lifted beyond a certain height we can correlate and understand the problem with a well problem say there is a well having water level up to a that limit below the ground surface that it cannot be extracted and problem faced by galileo was just similar to this problem and as i said you he could not explain the exact reason he passed his concern over the problem to his disciple or say student ditosoli and when this problem came to famous italian physicist mathematician tosoli he conducted an experiment which we all must have studied in our school physics it's a tosoli experiment on air pressure he had shown the potential of one atmospheric pressure which i have already explained you in my last video that is potential of one atmospheric pressure is equals to 1 kg per centimeter square in this experiment he has shown that once a test tube is inserted in a mercury filled jar by creating vacuum then the height of mercury rises to 760 mm it's an important value we know that specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 it means mercury is 13.6 times heavier than water and when mercury rises to 760 mm then water would rise up to 13.6 times of 760 mm and this value comes to be 10.4 meter of water or we can say it is 34 feet this is the experiment conducted by tosoli but now we will verify this value by the law of hydrostatic as we know by the law of hydrostatic pressure is a function of h or we can write it as p is equals to rho times h if you say rho value is 1 gram per centimeter cube and h value is for this case 1040 centimeter i'm just converting 10.4 meter into centimeter value now if you will calculate this value then this value comes to 1.04 kg per centimeter square or we can write it as 1 kg per centimeter square and that's the value of one atmospheric pressure which i have already told you hence we can write one atmospheric pressure is equals to 10.4 meter of water or we can say it is equals to 760 mm of mercury and this is the experiment conducted by tosoli and this experiment has given us a device called barometer which we use to take the atmospheric pressure and the credit goes to obviously tosoli so now let's see this problem again that what is going on because of this negative pressure created by pump inside the pipe and here 1 kg per centimeter square atmospheric pressure is present and just because of this pressure difference the water is raised up to a certain limit and that limit is fixed 
that is 10.4 meter of water. Friends, later we will see the use of this value in suction height in the calculation of net positive suction height which will study in turbo machine section. Now I hope you are in a situation to give the answer of my first question that is what is the maximum height a person can suck this water using the straw and that is 10.4 meter. And my second question was is it a relevant question related to hydrostatic? And the answer is yes, we have already seen it. In the next segment of fluid mechanics learning through example series, we will see how you can correlate the submergence of Titanic with the Bion's problem. And if air is a fluid and we all are submerged in it, then what is our actual weight? In order to know the answer of all the question and many more, please keep watching the Recon Civil Academy videos. Thank you for watching.